On this episode of Design Cut Build, Iggy gave me a surprise this week. We're gonna be building a welding cart for me. So let's get ready to design, cut, and build. Welcome to another episode of Design Cup Build. So a little backstory for you. Over the course of the season, I've been developing ideas, you know, passion drawings, in this here little notebook. I've shown a few of them to Iggy, and he got the bright idea to surprise me this week. So, uh, here we are already working on something, and I just found out that uh, it's for me. So uh, these guys have been sneaking around, and uh, we are building a welding cart for the Rat Runner Garage. He really just kept complaining that he didn't have a nice 12 table like we have here. Um, this is going to be a mobile cart, so I can roll it outside, because, you know, living in Tahoe, you want to work outside. And, uh, yeah, I can have all my equipment, uh, toolbox, plasma cutter, and my MIG TIG welder on, all, on, on, on a shelf. Sides, yeah, yeah. All, all in one. I'm not excited about this at all. Let's get started. So Iggy got a jump start on me and already had the square tubing arranged and ready to weld. I just tack them once on the inside. So twice on the inside. What's going to happen is if you only tack the inside, it's going to bend. Going to pull it. Yep. Okay. So what I would recommend doing is actually tacking the outside. outsides. Ooh, you are good. It's okay. That's dead on. Thirty-seven oh, and a half. Great. I'm not Woo. good, let's just say getting better. <laughs> you know, Aaron should give himself some more credit. He's grown as a fabricator throughout the season, and he's done it with bad eyes. He welded up that entire frame and it's nice and square. Before we finish welding the frame up, we thought it would be a good idea to cut out the top, just in case our cart design is flawed and needs some alterations. All right, so we just finished our line speed test, so now I was able to figure out how fast we were going to be able to move on this half-inch plate for this job. So we're going to be cutting at 125 amps with half-inch material at 45 inches per minute on the outer perimeter, and then we've got some smaller holes, so I slowed that down to about 25 inches per minute. We also put some marking in, some plasma marking. We're going to be running right out of the book for that one, 250 inches a minute. With the flex cut 125, the flex cut 80, unfortunately, does not do the plasma marking. So it's like an edge that he's More or less, yeah. It's not going to be as deep, and if you were to try to paint over this, you probably wouldn't be able to see them that well. So what we're doing here is I just made a big grid pattern, right. and then our plate will actually just cut around all of that. That works. So it's just a little... Yeah, because you're only supposed to have two inches on this side. That's fine. I want to make sure that we have height, so we're going to raise it up. I say we put the brackets on, oh, yeah. get it off the ground, the put the wheels on first. Yeah. Then we can build the brackets, because I want to do a little bit of a step down for, okay. the, for the plasma cutter. With the base plate, uh -huh. it will sit, it. it'll sit here, uh -huh. right? But the plate itself will go all the way into here. Sure, so it's stronger. Yep, uh, and then and then on the top, we'll have a little half inch angled gusset. Now that I think about this, oh. we might want to offset this this way. Oh, okay. So that way. The gusset that we put in uh -huh. goes directly down, down the, center the center of this and is centered with this. That makes sense, yeah. yeah. You thought I wasn't doing anything. I got you hey. some, some gussets we could put on here. 
got to deck it out a little bit. That is uh, A for awesome. Okay, ready? Best cat drawing wins. Go. Let's see what you got. So, uh, you said there's CAD training available. The gussets are in place, but before I can start welding, I notice a problem. All right, you guys, so new torch lead, if you notice. Uh, we had a break in it. We noticed a big slice somewhere dragged across the table or run over by some wheels, who knows, but there was a big slice in it. You could see the cable inside. No joke, it's a lot of current going through this and uh, you don't want to mess with that. Safety first. Well said, Aaron. Wow. Bottom of the bracket to hold the plasma cutter. And then we would go up from there to here. So we've got a lot done up to this point, and it was time to take a break, go to lunch, come back with some fresh eyes, and something just looked a little off. Iggy and I noticed that the hole for the tank was positioned in the corner of the cart. There's going to be too much weight in that back corner. With the tank on the same right side as our plasma cutter and welder, and our table's not extremely wide, we may have a little pull that way. So rather than risk it, we decided to move the hole to the center, which means we had to recut the whole top. All right, so that'll be the bottom shelf. I'm still so excited. It's like the energy, the extra energy for this build is really awesome. I remember watching an old episode where they built one and totally fantasized about building my own. And uh, here I am hosting the show and getting to build one of my little dream projects. So how cool is that? While I keep working on the base for the toolbox, Iggy starts designing and cutting out the pieces that will attach to the frame, like the base for the tank, the base for the welder, and the hooks to hang the helmets and grinders. So that's the nice thing about CNC plasma cutting tables. You can set them up, let them run, and then go back to work on something else. That's why I was able to fab up these parts so quickly. So once we got the base plate set in that's gonna be holding our plasma cutter, we're gonna to have to now build a support that's going to hold the upper plate that will hold our welder. In order to do this, we cut some rectangles on the 4400 out of eighth inch material, broke them twice to create our own C-channel, and then took the bracket itself or the support and welded it to the frame of our cart and the base plate that's holding our plasma cutter. We then put the top plate on that will hold the, the welder and then welded that to the cart and our support. There was so much to do on this project and I know as a host sometimes I just stand around. But this one I could really sink my teeth into and I wanted it to be perfect. So while Iggy was designing, I was welding. While Iggy was welding, I was grinding. And he was such a great compliment. And I think on this project, it really showed how well we work together. And I'm very, very thankful. Make sure it's square. All right, folks, Aaron here. Welcome to the Rat Runner Garage, my favorite place in the world to work. And guess what's in my favorite place in the world to work? The fabrication station. Look at that. It's got all the goodies there. I've got all my stuff, all my goods. I've got my drawers full of all the goods. All right, all my grinding wheels, all my other tools. I am so excited. And it's gonna be a total game changer in here. So, you know, I can roll it around in here, but another cool thing is, I 
can roll it outside and I can do my work outside when the weather's nice because it's Tahoe and the weather's beautiful. So thank you, Torchmate. Thank you, Iggy. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And that is a wrap. We designed it, we cut it, and we built it. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Lincoln Electric's line of plasma cutting tables, please visit torchmate.com.